In Tetralogy of Fallot with pulmonary atresia, the heart works less efficiently. Because the pulmonary artery is blocked, the heart has to push blood to the lungs the long way, out the aorta and through the collateral arteries. The procedure we do, called unifocalization, lets us rebuild a normal connection between the heart and the lungs. We do that by gathering up all of these collaterals and surgically combining them into a unified functioning pulmonary artery. That way, the heart can pump blood directly to the lungs. But first, we need to find all of those collateral arteries. Days or weeks before the surgery, we bring the patient to the cardiac catheterization laboratory, or cath lab, where we use video x-rays to create a roadmap that helps us locate each one of these collaterals. Each patient is different. Some only have one or two collaterals. Others can have five or even more. So we really do need that map in order to plan the unifocalization surgery. We've created a simulation so you can see how unifocalization works by performing it yourself. In the operating room, the procedure can take more than 12 hours to complete, but you can do a simplified version here in a couple of minutes. Start by pulling one of the larger collaterals away from the aorta and attaching it to the blue-colored pulmonary artery above it. Sometimes the collaterals are a little small, so we make them bigger by sewing in some extra patch tissue. Grab one of the tissue patches and add it to the smaller collateral. Now, attach the enlarged collateral to the pulmonary artery above. Nice work. Now repeat the process with the two collaterals on the other side. Good, you've repaired the pulmonary arteries. Now they'll grow and strengthen over time, which will allow more blood to flow from the heart to the lungs. Once we've done the unifocalization, we do a test in the operating room to see if blood is flowing well and at low pressure through the newly reconstructed pulmonary artery. If so, we close that hole in the heart so deoxygenated blood can no longer escape to the wrong side of the heart. So grab the patch and close the VSD. The last step of the surgery is attaching the homograft conduit. The conduit is the tube that will connect the heart directly to the reconstructed pulmonary artery. So the right ventricle can pump blue blood straight to the lungs. Take the homograph conduit and attach it to the right ventricle. Great job, doctor. Now that the surgery is complete, the repaired heart functions largely like a normal heart. The right side pumps blue blood to the lungs and the left pumps red, oxygenated blood to the body. Successful unifocalization patients have a very good chance of healing up and having near-normal heart function and physiology.